Oh no. Not the flood again. There's actually like a tiny building you can see. Imagine that you leave or just like stay somewhere there. Can of imagine that series of events like the aliens invade the planet. They excavate the entire lake next to you, <laughs> including most of your backyard, for absolutely no reason. They don't even attack you. They're not interested. Later, the UNSC comes in. They start blowing them to pieces. You think, no, they're actually invincible, it turns out. But then they, then they just all leave through this giant black hole in the sky. <laughs> and then ten minutes later, another ship crashes and a bunch of parasites come out of it and start eating you. You have you have no idea what the flood is either. You have no idea what just happened. You're just watching all of this. Yes. Okay. Yes. I imagine flood tastes like mushroom. And if you fry it, it technically can be like non-toxic, non-zombie virus providing. I mean, he, yeah, if you booked it correctly, but that's also like a risk you're going to be taking, which is a risk you shouldn't be taking. Well, you know, people eat those uh, in fish, the, the, those poisonous big fish, the, the ball fish. Yeah, puffer fish. Yes, people do that. Why wouldn't they eat flood? Probably because yeah, they because just die. Because it's insanely unsafe. Like, like, imagine you open up your freezer to get some of it, and it just like <laughs> shoots out a tentacle and like stabs you in the heart. And kills you. You know, people from different countries and different, uh, like, parts of the world, they have different, like, digesting system and stuff like that. So, like, Japanese people, they, you know, since they live on an island, basically, and they eat, eat a lot of fish, and they, from the ancient time, they eat raw fish, so they can eat it and be fine. But if you go there and you just start eating the same thing that they eat, you will, like, get sick at best just because you're not accustomed to it so what you're saying what is considered is exotic so there needs to be some people out there who are accustomed to eating flood yes well it, it may be they're not there yet but you can train yourself like you can you're gonna eat flood and you're gonna get sick but your kids will like they I think they're gonna get sick i think you're just going to turn into a flood because that's how flood do their thing all it takes is a single like a live flood cell to get into your body and then you're dead well you need to take some risks but at the end when you will succeed and you will be able to eat flood you, that's like the whole point, you know, you, you eat things that try to eat you, that's how like we get our civilization, like, you know, dinosaurs wanted to eat people, but we eat eight dinosaurs, and like, where are they now? Like, we killed all of them. You just, you just need to train yourself to be better than the flood. Yeah, just eat them Go before like, they eat you. Get, get eaten, loser. Imagine like, how much money do we spend on food? You could be like a millionaire by now if you just don't buy food. And uh, flood is basically endless and it comes to you. So like you are hungry and like, oh, you know, I, I have nothing in my fridge and I need to go to the shop, but I'm too lazy. So I'm just going to stay and eat, be hungry. But like, hey, you just open the window and this flood head jumps in and just like, here's a snack, you know, a meal for one person. I feel like if your flood's outside your window, you have bigger <laughs> problems than not having any food like <laughs> yeah sure that's not you got one quick meal but like by tomorrow your entire neighborhood is going to be filled with them oh there's a human leg and an elite arm <gasps> we're gonna make a monster out of those <laughs> franken elite yes Combine all the covenant into one body. You got the arm, the arm of a hunter, uh, the body of a brute. Yeah, the yeah. Legs so, so, of a so yes, yes. Imagine that. So you do that, and obviously it's dead. But then you add flood, and it's alive now. And you have like the ultimate <laughs> being, like the peak of the evolution. There's nothing you can add. And if you live in such a place and you are accustomed to flood, you can just eat your walls. It's like living in a gingerbread house. Grave mind's like, why did you come? And then you just start like munching through the walls. <laughs> I'm just hungry, man. Hey, Grave Mind, I, uh, I came over for a snack. You don't, you don't mind if I like, start eating up all of your little flood infectors? Like right, right here, you got um, you got some like juicy bits. Yeah. Maybe it's like it's a. Just, like, it's like one of those uh, like juicy kind of candies where it's yeah it's not like can, it's, you bite into it and you get all the juice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like so sweet. It's, so it's probably the presentation is not the best though. But like okay, you know sometimes sometimes it's function it's, over form. I've never seen the um, icons for the uh, flood. That looks really cool. The flood pure form. 
Uh, it looks like it has like two little tiny legs and he stands up on top of them. It's look out like a hat with ears that you can pull on. Oh, oh yeah, like a, like, like, a hat. like a gesture hat. The next one, the flat combat, also looks like a hat. Like a fun party hat. If you look at it that way, but if you know what the flood combat form is, it's more horrifying then. True, but you know, just don't think about it. And the flood carrier, like, it's a blanket. Like, I can see this on my couch, laying the same thing. Imagine having a blanket that's just like a skin and flesh. That's probably so weird. It sweats and it has hair. There, there's like a, a series, like a really realistic drawing of like everyday household items, but made of flesh. But you got a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be warm and wet. You need to wash it like every day. <laughs> yeah, and imagine like you, you, you're in your bed and you like you eat something and like you drink tea and you spill some. It's like the hot tea like drops on the skin on the skin blanket and it just like shivers like. Eh! You should put a mouse there. You know, That's every it. every household item that's made of flesh needs to have a mouth and an ability not to speak but to like you know mourn or scream and. Uh, you just oh, of live in a house made of meat and everything is just suffering. Maybe not suffering, they're just saying hello. They just like can't say hello. They have mouth but no lips and they're just like... <laughs> Make sure to feed the flesh blankets before you go to bed. <laughs> they're gonna shit then. Like imagine you wake up <laughs> covered in shit and it's not even yours. <laughs> uh, I gotta go use your flesh let a shower to, you know, get that off of you. Oh no, like, why are you late for work on your know, blanket? <laughs> just shit itself. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, I have the same problem. Yeah, sorry I'm late, you know, my, my flesh car. <laughs> I just didn't want to start this morning. Left a, left a big mess on my driveway. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got into, like, an accident with it last week, and I think it's kind of scared now. <sighs> My flesh car ate a squirrel on the way here. <laughs> try, try to, try to <laughs> on the traffic light. It started fusing with uh, the car next to me, and um, <laughs> had to, like, I had to break out the axe and jump yeah, it a little bit. Yeah, yeah like a shocker. <laughs> bad flesh car, bad flesh <laughs> car. No peeing on the driveway. Oh god, that's a horrible way to leave. I have a headache now. Beautiful. That, that's you know. What's gaming is all about.